everyone knows that you are about empowerment, empowering people to kind of live their best lives and yes. have fun. I'm all about empowering people. What I what I'm not, I'm I'm all about empowering people. But, but but what I want people to know is you cannot bully and troll people. No matter no matter what your circumstance is, you cannot bully and troll people, and then expect for you know what I'm saying because everybody's not gonna be the bigger person. You know, get what I'm saying? Now, me, I feel like in my head, m mentally, I think of everything from a rapper standpoint first. So I really don't try to get into, you know what I'm saying, all the extra all the extra bullshit, but it'd be a lot of bullying and a lot of trolling going on. And you know what I'm saying? People just like the internet stuff. But for me, I want people to know that I am an artist. And anything that I do is from an artist standpoint. Absolutely. So for you growing up, were you always interested in music? Or... No, not at all. No. Growing up, I never wrote poems. I did not know that I was going to be a rapper. I did not know that I knew how to rap. My dad used to rap when I was little, but I always thought rapping was a joke. Like, growing up, I used to see <laughs> boys in high school, like, they used to have their little rap groups. And then uh, once we got older and the boys were still rapping, I'd be like, shit, damn, y'all boys is wasting all y'all money in the studio. It's not going nowhere. And then um, literally... I had um, started a podcast with some of my friends uh, mm -hmm. right before I had got, like, really famous. And um, we was like, we need a theme song. So we went and made a theme song. And we put a theme song out, and everybody was like, I really love your verse. Like, you can rap. And I was like, me? And they was like, yeah. So I had started, you know, I'm like, okay, let me explore it. So I started writing different records, playing around. I started doing, like, little showcases. Then I started getting booked. I had did a Tatiana, the remix to Tatiana at the time from um, Blueface. Uh huh. And um, it had started getting big. People started playing in the club. They wanted me to do like local little shows in my city. So I was like, hey, I was like, well, if this is it, maybe you know what I'm saying. Let me like really sit down and try to write something. And that's when I wrote um, "Walk 'Em Like a Dog" and I'm whole life. <laughs> whole life. You like, know what? If you like, have. Whoa. You're very witty, right? And even like the banter that you have, I don't, a lot of people came to know you were, uh, you know, came, you came to prominence because of, not because of, but in large part because of your relationship with the city girls, particularly mm -hmm. uh, Parisha or Young Miami mm -hmm. and your witty banter that you have back and forth with her. So you have a way with words, right? So you kind of just, your music is almost like you encapsulate how you like Jones. That's what's so funny. That is the, a Young Miami example that word she said Santana you should have knew that you knew how to rap because of how you talk yeah and I always thought it was so funny I was like yeah but I never thought of putting it into a song because mm -hmm. I feel like this is I was a kid always smart mouth always gonna say shit that's gonna cut you like a knife like who not cut you like a knife I would hate to get into an argument with you do you have boundaries when you are arguing, like, with your friends? Or are you just like, you know what? I'm about to cut you to the white meat. Um, we, us, we, us, seeing us on live, we do have boundaries. People think that we don't, but I would never, it's some things that I would never say. But, no, reading is reading. You read, you you read for blood. You read to win. <laughs> so you so know, that's mad how, for, are you ever mad for a few days afterwards? Like, you know what? You took it too far. Nah. No. I got tough skin. Look at this. I have to deal. I have to wake up and deal with internet every day. I have, I, but I've always had tough skin as a kid. I've always been like that. I never care what people think or what somebody gonna say. So it doesn't matter. Yeah, absolutely. So let's get into this album. Tell me what's your favorite track on the album and what video did you shoot yesterday? Um, my favorite track on the album is. I don't know. I really like Shake What Your Mama Gave You. Um, is it a sample? I, is that a sample? No, it's not a sample. Okay. I like Shake What Your Mama Gave You. I like Give Me. No, my favorite song is Story. And I really got a lot of backlash yesterday from Story. Because um, Story was wrote. I wrote Story um, about different dudes that I used to talk to. <laughs> and... Um, I dropped, it's kind of like when Nicki Minaj did Barbie Dreams. Yes. And she dropped names. So I told a story about, you know, of, of dudes that I dealt with before. Did you drop names? 
I dropped names. And, you know, I just rapped about their situation, you know, briefly or whatever. But for me, story was a fun record. It wasn't to hurt nobody's feelings or it wasn't to, you know, dig at anybody. It was just, you know, it was a fun record. And my fans follow me. So my fans know Santana to be the dog walker. And they always in my business. They always want to know, <laughs> well, Willie, and is this the boy from the Pope? Is this the boy that took you out on a shopping spree in Chicago? They always want to keep up with me. So I just felt like it was a fun, it was a fun record for my real true fans. They could relate because some of the names I said they they are familiar with. It feels like you you feel like you could teach the girl something Definitely. about dating. Definitely. <laughs> Definitely. Okay, so you shot the video to which song yesterday? Yesterday we did a video to It Survive. Me, okay. I think he should dream dog. Okay. Oh wow. So it was like a full on you had collabos and mm -hmm. now you're in the bed. Everybody keeps asking us why you're in the bed. So you are in the bed. I'm in a bed, you know. I just I just, you know, had when it had surgery as well. Um I got my body done. And so yesterday Okay, what uh, does that I mean? Let's slow down. Let's go back. What does what? that mean? I got my body done. What does that mean? I got my body done. I just had cosmetic surgery, you know, a little, huh, huh, little, huh, huh. Oh, a little tip so, and a tuck. Okay. Yeah, it's giving snatched. Okay. So, um, yeah. So yesterday, I think me being in work mode and stuff, I was up. I'm dancing. Um, you know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm being. A, I was being a superstar yesterday, and now this morning when I woke up, I was like, oh. The body wasn't ready. The body wasn't ready. <laughs> the body wasn't ready. You know, it, so you talk about getting your body done, but I also know that a lot of your music really is like a confidence booster. Your music is the kind of music that you play right before you get ready to go out, the music that you play while you're getting your face beat, your hair done, you know, yep. you your outfits on. So what does that confidence mean to you? And, and how do you kind of reconcile, like, getting your body done, but also being confident and happy with yourself and, you know, not allowing people to bully you and troll you into a place where you feel like you have to change yourself. Uh -huh. I feel like, I feel like getting body done, getting your body done doesn't really go into being happy with yourself. Cause I think, you know, just with, um, if it's a look that you want to achieve, like go get it. Yeah. Um, if people, people go get lace fronts and we put in their head, that don't mean that they're not happy with their real hair. Yeah. And I don't mean that they think they're not pretty, you know what I'm saying, because they don't have a weave. It's a look that I want to achieve. I want to look good. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So me, I, I, I what kind, one thing I can say about me, I, I've had the same confidence today that I had with, with the body I had last year mm -hmm. or the body I had a year before that. I've always have been the same person in the, and always growing up, I've always got whatever nigga I wanted is because I had the confidence. I always got whatever job I wanted is because I had the confidence. I always walk in the room, walk in your trap, take over your trap because I had the confidence. Not take over your trap. Oh, Lord. <laughs> so, you know, I, and I think people, you know, people see me for it. Yeah, absolutely. And we really love you. Everybody keeps talking about your eye makeup. Um, Santana. Thank you. Shout out to her. Killer face. <laughs> so for everybody who just joined us, Santana is beat the way that he is. He had a video shoot yesterday and he had his eyes done, his eye makeup, his lashes. Do you have a lash? Let me tell you something. Lashes, you are like all about lashes. Do you know? Oh, yes. I, can, I don't even know how you let, how, how can you just like sit with that? Like the lashes, they look so heavy mm -mm. they like they mink lashes so you know a lot of girls are still wearing strip lashes <laughs> we get minks around here so you know it's they're very light i just like a full look so you i like make sure they're full but you don't feel them see full glamour that's what you go for you like the full glamour mm -hmm. like just full glamour on like you talk about are you are you influenced by people like Madonna, like those people who are all about like the characters and the flashiness and changing their looks back and forth? Because I know you mentioned mm. Madonna earlier. Um, not necessarily. You know, I'm real gangster and ghetto, but um, I like um, 
I just like I like just being that bitch. I like when uh excuse my language. But I like, you know, just being that girl, like, you know, when you 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 got your makeup done, you know, you got your fly outfit on, your body looking good, the face is on team, the teeth giving. Like I just like to be teeth. So um I I feel like I feel like now lately I've been in, um I've been, you know, looking at um different people and trying to figure out, you know, certain looks. Um, because I think it's something new that I wanna try a new look that I wanna try next year. The gag the girls. Okay. But, um, <laughs> yeah, other than that, I just like being T. I see. I can learn something from you. I'm looking at the comments, they're like, You need a Santana makeover. I'm like, Okay. I'm not gonna <laughs> for Santana. He could give me a Santana makeover. I'm giving you journalists right now. They want me to uh -huh. give pop stars. It's giving journalists, but it's giving Fendi. Oh, it, it is giving Fendi. It's true. It's giving so. material, girl, period. <laughs> See, that's what I'm saying. It's the small details. I'm, I'm laid up in the bed, but I got on my chrome hearts. Don't Period. <laughs> Let them know. It's giving what it was what's supposed what to be. What it needs to be gay. What it needs to be gay, period. <laughs> so, Santana, do you have anything you want to say to your fellow and download? and stream 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 your new yes project. stream 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 this new album it's a vibe literally this is the perfect title because mm -hmm. the whole album is it's a vibe you know what i'm saying from one to 14 you're gonna vibe you got we're gonna turn up i have some tracks where you know i'm giving travis um porter i got <laughs> some tracks where it's giving a little oozy I got some tracks where it's giving Migos. Okay. I got a track where it's giving Gucci Mane. And then I got other songs where it's giving Santana. So I really just switched up. I gave y'all, you know, different vibes or whatever. I gave people different sounds. But, you know, it's just, it's still all uh, feel-good music. It's Y'all think Walk is a very, very, very good record. Mm -hmm. But it's it really is. so many more hits on my project. And then I, did, I also did a song called um giving me because you know i i introduce you know it's the tv for me it's the braids for me it's the fendi for me you know <laughs> i introduced that to the world when me and my sister used to be on live mm -hmm. and um it got big and really um that's gay lingo in my culture that's how we talk mm -hmm. so once i introduced introduce it to the world i see you have straight men now i think it was like yo got in somebody got a song called for me um, you know, everybody, everybody is like, it's it's for me, oh, you know? it's the shoes for me, it's the brace for me, it's the earrings for me. I'm like, damn, I really like, you know, I really influenced the world. I was like, bitch, and you know, I ain't even trademark it. So I was like, you know, I I gotta give my fans a song. So I got a song called, you know, um, giving me, uh -huh. um, and then What's I know it that it's giving and get and, and giving me gives what need to be gay. It's giving okay. a give. <laughs> And my lyric galore voice is giving a give. So, <laughs> yes, definitely go stream. It's going to be a lot of songs that y'all going to like. Um, you know what I'm saying? It's a lot of music. Um, I, I worked hard for this project. I'm always working. Literally, as soon as I put out my last project, I was right back in the studio. I already recorded for this. This project out, my ass will be right back in the studio, ready to hit y'all upside the head for spring break. So, definitely, yep, go stream the album. You know what I'm saying? Let's get it popping. Is there anywhere else that your fans can see you soon? Um, I have a show in Mississippi on the 31st, Jackson, Mississippi, if y'all want to come see the doll in real life. I have a show um, December 31st in Jackson, Jackson, Mississippi. Yeah, it's like a little New Year's show. And I think I'm about to have another show in Atlanta right after New Year's. So y'all can pull up on me. Awesome. Well, Santana, thank you so much. As I told you before, we love your out loud personality. I thank you. you. Yeah, and we, we really want to see you win and for your music to just keep climbing, for your artistry to grow. Thank yes. you so much for sharing with our Essence audience. And we hope to talk to you soon. Everybody, go stream Santana's new project. It's a vibe. And yes, it's a vibe. Go stream. Yeah, ho. Y'all know that you can talk. You talk about that shit. But let me see if you can walk. Okay. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> so 2021, Santana is coming for you. Make sure you check us out at Essence.com. And we are always keeping you up to date with everything new and good in our culture. Period. Thank you. Thank you.